Well, it's time for a roster review. So we're going to go Woo! over my roster day. And join with me, of course, is Valley Flying. We do this video every month. What's up, Valley Flying? What is up? I'm, I'm curious to see what has changed on your roster. All right. Are you a Valley Maniac? That's the only thing that matters. Is, are you? Um, a, I, uh, yeah. You All know right. when it comes crashing down and it hurts inside. Okay. <laughs> so uh, I've been playing the game over 900 days now, which is oh my, my goodness. goodness, right? And uh, I, I, I like doing this with you because we talk about some of the things that we're working at. I'm over 8 million. Oh, my goodness. Yes. Whaley McWhale. You, someone has been whaling harder this past month. Well, I've been blitzing too, unfortunately. <laughs> what? <laughs> I know, what? right? I had what to blitz. I, oh my cats God. and dogs living together. I know, right? Uh, so uh i think i think there's two things that are important in this video is like what are we what are we looking at for t4s what what teams are we using in the arena and what are we using for team compositions in blitz and or war right i mean that's pretty much yes. the whole all right so let's talk about arena first um my god we're on the same shard and it's uh, we use very similar teams well i don't have my black order up and running and i'm ranked 24 uh, okay. And I'm running two different teams. I run this team. This is this is your offense. Yes, uh, this is okay. my Black Order killer. I actually made a video about this, and I've only lost, and it, I've only lost to a 505k power team. A guy that's planted at number one, and he's got seven red star Thanos, and he's fully T4 and everything. But this is nice. I've, I can nice. I've taken down every team pretty much, and then uh, when I go up against a non Black Order team. Uh, I usually swap in Mr. Sinister, uh, Captain Marvel, and Yo-Yo, and I keep Black Bolt and Phoenix, and then okay. And usually it's about deleting uh, Ebony Ma first, and then uh, not letting the the Mr. Sinister clone uh, just Phoenix, like giving that the, their Mr. Sinister a choice to who to clone, and then just kind of systematically going through the team slowly. I, I'm not having nice. a hard time on offense, but then at the same time, you know, this is my defensive team. I'm not really. I'm not really yeah, holding on that. defense either. Like, you know, like I'm at 24 overnight, and that's my I mean, defensive team. Yeah. See, the thing is, Blackwater could beat that pretty easily. I mean, Blackwater beats most defensive teams pretty easily. So um, let me ask you a question. Would, then, would Captain yeah. Marvel make this team more tricky than Mr. Sinister? If, if I was fighting it with my Black Order, no. What would, what, what, what's the most difficult team you come across with Black Order? Uh, for Nothing? my black order, not not that much. My black orders are about 440 already, mm -hmm. and I got three of those guys are gear 14. So there's not much so, more. But there's not power a, you could put into a team. So there's not a mixed team that gives you any difficulty at all. Not my black order, no. Yeah, okay, that, that's not, it's not not even not even close. Yeah, it's, see, it's that's that's what easy. I'm experiencing. That you know, because I wasn't dropping to 24 last month. I was uh, staying like 12. And then climbing, you know what I mean? I was, I was, you know what yeah. I mean? And now it's like, oh man, 24, I got to climb, you know, at the end of the day. Anyways, uh, for, for the, you that don't know, it's black order, black order, black order. And so <laughs> why don't we talk about that? Why don't we go to black order? And I think it's important, right? And yeah, how um, has your black, I'm curious. I haven't seen your black order for okay. a while. We don't, we don't, cause you know, we, we, we're in the same alliance. We don't talk a lot. Unless we're making videos. I, yeah. I don't know what your, your roster is, what's going on with your roster nowadays. Okay. Uh, so every Ma is geared up. Okay, so here's 13. the thing. It looks like 13, right? Okay, yeah, yeah 13. So, so here's the thing is I, I want to get through... I want to get through Dark Dimension 3 before I start focusing on Call, Proxima, and Corvus. I'm getting a lot of value today out of Ebony Ma and Thanos in U7. And so... Okay. I have put some T4. I think I'm going to have to max out this team. I'm going to have to spend promotion credits on Thanos. Uh, and that's... We, this we this just, is a, worth it. This worth Yeah. You worth came to the same conclusion, right? We're going to put promotion credits on Thanos. Like, I need... Yeah. I mean, five, six, seven star Thanos is kind of going to be like a staple. Ebony Ma, I did three out of the four. I don't really see the value of this, but I did three out of the four. I'm using them a lot. Um, yeah, you, you might have convinced me to do that basic when we were talking about my Ebony Maw as well, just just because of usage. It's not like it's an awesome T4, but I'm using him so much. It, it makes sense to upgrade it a little bit. Pass, That's a good one. Pass, I like that one. Passive on call uh, and uh, nothing on... Uh, nothing on Proxima, and then I, I did. I did all of those on Proxima, but you only have three red stars. If you happen to get five, I would probably do all of those. Okay, I've been thinking. Of, red stars. I've been thinking about the passive right here, where it always clears stealth. Is that useful? 
I like I, I like the passives for all of them except for Ebony because they give bonuses to the rest of the team. Mm -hmm. And then I like I like the ba I like the basic combo with Corvus and Proxima when they're the same team. Those those two synergize their basics really well. Yeah. And uh, you know she's got a good kit, but I ended up using that basic a lot more than her special and her ultimate, even though those are really really good moves. You know. Yeah. When you got Ebony Ma, he gets the offense down to everybody. She doesn't really need her special on opening turn. Yeah, because she could do I'm more. She could clear it. buffs and and do more damage with the assists. You'll be when you have the yeah. basics on on both Proxima and Corvus, right? I mean, I hear that people are just like turn one basic Thanos, basic everything, right? It's almost yeah, everything I'm, I'm basic. basic. Basic Thanos, basic Proxima, basic Corvus, Ebony. Depends. Sometimes I do the basic to kill their Ebony, but sometimes I'm doing the special and getting all the the buffs on my team. Mm -hmm. And then Corvus, it depends as well. Sometimes I basic. Sometimes I throw that taunt. So. Yeah, it's it or is seems it, ultimate or it seems yeah. like that everybody is just going all out. Look at that, all four um, on Thanos. Yeah, basic, 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 yeah. basic, basic, basic. Yeah, <laughs> his so, basic is tough. Yeah, his basic's amazing. Uh, so, anyways, so the, uh, you know, I've got a, you can barely see it right here, but there, I've got a four, so four, four okay. red. Uh, so I, I, you know, I'm waiting to get through Dark Dimension three. When I get through Dark Dimension three, uh, you know, hopefully that's here in the next couple of weeks. Uh, and well, then let, I, let me ask you about chaos theory. What about chaos theory? We got it coming up at the end of this week. Are you going to go to four to five and then five to six at the end of this week or some one other character? I'm thinking about this guy. Symbiote Spider-Man. Yeah. Um, that makes more sense for Dark Dimension 3 in particular. Yeah. Um, so if you, just that game mode, I think that's worth it. Yeah, I don't know. Um, well, see, this is a this is a uh, I don't know. But right now, my, my, my two favorite choices for promotion credits currently at this time is symbiote spider-man and thanos the end i i mean you know it, i have pretty much everything else that i need which would be like black bolt is at an acceptable level phoenix is is an acceptable level mr sinister is yeah, at an acceptable just, just level the fours the fives and sixes yeah <laughs> but there's no reason but thanos i you know thanos is at four stars right now he's going to five like he's going to five and probably uh, Symbiote's and going to six. Yeah. That makes sense. That I, and makes then, sense. And then when I finish Dark Dimension 3, uh, then I'm going to revisit Thanos and and friends and go. Um, so I'm only, this entire month, um, my my T4s have been going to Black Ord, Thanos, and a couple, I, I did one on Ironheart, and then I did a couple on X-Force. Do you want to take a look at that? Okay. Yes. What, what, which, what did you do for Ironheart? Okay. Ironheart, uh, this is... Did Passive? She, yeah, no, no, no. I did her um, ultimate. ultimate. Ultimate for the defense downs. Yeah, this is, it's such a nuanced battle, though. I, I don't even know how I feel about her, really, but it's just for her ultimate right here, for defense down for two turns. Two turns. Yeah, it's just so that you don't get caught in a situation where, um, you know, it's a one versus one. You you want to have defense down if, if you're just, like, their team versus <laughs> Iron Man, so... Like, if you can't get that kill on Red Skull early enough, he gives you another turn to try to kill him with that defense down on him. Well, I, I did it. What is, I think I did that one as well. So I think so that that, match, that's what my rationale was. That matchup there depends on if it's a room that uh, they have defense up. If if Red Skull has defense up, this won't help. You still, even Red Skull with defense up and defense down equals you doing no damage. Yes. Okay, okay. So it's a problem. So what happens is is that when you're playing against Red Skull, if Red Skull has defense up, you need to let that expire. And so uh, where where the patience is required is with Falcon and knowing when to do his middle ability to give the team turn meter. So if if Red Skull has if Red Skull has defense up, you have to wait on Falcon's middle ability, his special, and then you let Red Skull take his turn, the defense down goes off, then you combo with, with Falcon. It. And then, because okay. if you apply... You tried to explain that to me on my channel, and I wasn't understanding, but defense up and defense down, Red Skull takes no damage. Correct. Defense down, he will take damage. Yes, so if Red okay. Skull has defense down, he will take damage, and then you you combo, right? And wh yeah. what happens, you combo, and the main thing is, like, Iron Man has the Unibeam, his ultimate. Instead of doing the AoE, just target... Target Red, Red Skull. Skull. You just go right for done. Red Skull. The match and, is done. And then the you, you done. finish the match. As soon as you 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 do that, you clean up. And it's a scary match. That being said, I 
that's this seems to be a nuanced thing. Uh, I'm kind of underwhelmed by Ironheart. I mean, what is your thoughts on Ironheart? I'm just kind of it's well. Kind of, I think I think if you had an equal powered Vision and an equal powered Ironheart, Ironheart would be a lot better on the power armor team. But my Vision is like twenty thousand power more than my Ironheart. So right now, I think it's kind of a wash to what what they're doing. The only the only benefit she provides is being able to get that defense down on uh, Red Skull. Okay, that's the only thing that Vision at that higher level can't do. But yeah, and, and once the, once once she's built up where my Vision is, I think she's gonna be a lot better in that team. But as of now, eh, eh. so so. All right, this this is X-Force. interesting. This, okay, this is, this is a fun team. All right, so I I I all I really want out of X Force. Is... Oh my goodness, your stars look just like mine. On yeah, your I know, right? Team, oh my red god. Stars. Yeah, exactly. Um, <laughs> all I really okay. So there's going to be a, 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 an event coming out, and there's going to be some rewards, some milestone rewards, and in that event, uh, we're going to be getting a uh, just like the, the the Magneto and I believe Namor, uh, where you were able to get a five five red star. I think wasn't that an orb opening event? Is that is that uh, what we're saying, or yeah, yeah? Well, there's an orb opening event, so I don't know how it's going to play out. We're going to find out later today, anyways. Uh, here's the deal is that we're going to get a five red star cable and a three red star Deadpool. And my goodness, Fox next, please reverse that. Give us a five (laughs) red star Deadpool and a three red star cable because doing that on purpose, (laughs) because it's going to throw off the power levels. And when playing against X-Men and Coulson inside of war, they have mechanics that target your team's highest attack. And you definitely want that to be Deadpool. So I have a feeling that I'm going to get this five red star cable and I'm just not going to activate it. it. Just leave it alone and try it out. As far as T4s, Domino, Passive. I did, I did that one as well. I haven't put anything else. Negasonic. And I kind of want to see how it works with just those two. That one that one helps on war. It doesn't really help too much in other game modes, though, this, which is why I kind of held off on that Passive. Are you, are you finding that? You, I know you were doing a lot of blitzing this week, and has that helped you? A lot outside of war with the extra, I think it was accuracy or focus. I was blitzing at only levels one through five on autoplay. I didn't play a single match outside of autoplay, so I couldn't tell you. Because you're talking about blitzing in 8.1 to 8.3. No, I don't do that. So I couldn't tell you. Six and eight. Yeah, okay. All right, got it. Yeah, so, and then this is another, her passive is another option. Um, Might be, might be, we'll see how that goes because, you know, teams that heal... You know, she could get speed bar. Uh, you know, this speed bar might help, you know, be... We'll see. But anyways, uh, I, the jury's out on this team, by the way. I I mean, this is a a nuanced team. I, I believe it'll be able to beat Asgard's. But, you know, really what we're, everybody's looking for is Mercs and Black Order. And if I could punch across on Mercs, yay, right? Yay. Yeah. Anyways. Mercs are tough. Mercs are tough. Mercs Black are a Order, mess. Ooh. I don't know. I don't. I don't think this team could beat Black Order. No, no, no I don't think so. Possibly Asgard. We've already seen that. Shield. We've already seen that. So, good, good war offense team. Yep. So, anyways, we'll see how that goes. Uh, stay tuned. This is probably going to happen this week, if not today, tomorrow, or the next day. Today or tomorrow. And if it doesn't happen then after that, just wait another day. We'll see then, right? Um, but anyway, sometime before Thursday, because I think her blitz is coming next Thursday. So they usually yeah, do it over a usually, week away. Yeah, yeah, they usually at least usually. give us about ten days heads up yeah. from people that buy the pack. So. <laughs> Uh, stay tuned. Um, I really have not worked that much on anything else this month, frankly. I mean, it's it's really that's everything that's happened this month. Any any other characters up to gear fourteen? Did you take anybody up this month? Uh, Minerva, I took up, and that was uh, okay. vital. And Minerva went up, and I'm can, I'm can I see your stars on your Minerva? All right, let's see. Minerva is uh, four six. Okay. Okay, got it. And how and more help in DD three she's been for you or Ultima Seven as well? Both. Well, I haven't noticed a difference in Ultima Seven, but just her being inside of Dark Dimension Three has been amazing. I, I was getting you access to that. Yeah, just okay. just her. Um, she has some cool interactions with Hella where you can sometimes get double Greg. Oh. If Hella dies first and then the the the, the, the Greg, Greg survives. survives, then you can revive. And like it's almost like I save the revive just for that situation. Because yeah. then it pops off. It's a lot of fun when you have double Gregs. I remember using that in one of the challenges. I, I'm not. Yeah. I'm not quite there in Dark Dimension Three, but yeah, that that was my strategy as well for that and, one. Yeah, it's fun. So um, Minerva, you know, and the thing is, is yeah. that I'm almost done with the cosmic, so I don't need really need to worry about Ebony Ma. And I'm solely working on these two guys right here. 
how how far away are your, your symbiote Spider-Man? Because you said you're close to entering that city and don't have him done yet. What what do you what do you need? Oh, two it's pieces. Mini that's not the, this right here. I'm gonna need 15 of oh. those, so I'm 13 short on that. It's a mess. Ooh, and then okay. this guy needs a million. He I think there's four of those. How's your alien spores? How's your alien spores? Uh, alien spores is not a problem. You're good. Oh, you got. Oh, you're done. Yeah, it's okay. it's it's everything else. Um, the minis. Ugh. I, I I don't know. It's it, you All know, right. and then it's like if I if I get stuck on Carnage, I'll start working on Ghost Rider. I mean, I just don't want to put any re resources into finishing Ghost Rider if it's going to take from Carnage or Symbiote Spider Man. But if for some reason I'm able to finish off Ghost, Ghost Rider, Mystic, right? Ghost Rider's Mystic, right? Yeah, but the pieces that that we need are. Are, it's not those pieces. It's this kind of stuff. It's uh. this is where I'm having a shortage. Everybody else has got ten thousand of these, and I have none. And every character needs like a thousand. And it's, it's, a, it's didn't different. you just get two hundred yesterday? Oh, yeah, I need I need thousands <laughs> of these. Thousands. Thou I need probably I probably need like three thousand right now. You know what I mean? Like to get finish up. Uh, this guy, this guy, Ebony Maw, thousands. Anyways, each character needs about a thousand. Some characters need eleven forty, like Ebony Maw. Anyways, it's trash. Anyways, <laughs> it's it's a mess. Uh, I'm working All on right. it. Uh, Dark Dimension All Three. Right. Okay, so let's look at my my team squads because um, this is and uh, keep in mind um, your team squads are more based and go to Valley's video. But my yeah. videos, uh, my 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 team squads are primarily based off of war. Okay. Are you ready? Mine's is more, mine's is more blitz based. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Obvious no brainer. All right. I like that Shuri. I have a Psylocke in there, but I might actually uh, end up what you're doing because okay. I, I like I like that combo that you're having for X Men against the As Guardians. Okay. So, so I, might, uh, I, Shuri. I saw Shuri uh, on a Merc team. There's this really insane synergy between Merc, Riot Guard, and Shuri. Where, because you know how he's really kind of hard to kill, right? Merc, Merc yeah. Rygard with all the deflects and the insane high block chance. And then when you have her healing him and she giving him more deflects, or she doesn't give him more deflects because it's not in raid. Defense up. Yeah, but defense up more. And then there's already syn synergy with Killmonger. And so yeah. this it's a great choice putting her on Mercs. I've seen it. It is annoying. I've also seen her on Marauders instead of Kingpin, which is also super annoying. Which one have you? I, I've seen both of those this weekend against the teams yeah. we're facing. Which one had? Which one did you have more trouble with? The Shuri on Symbiotes or Symbiote on? I mean, our Shuri on Marauders. The, the, or, the, 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 the Merc, Shuri, 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 Mercs. The Mercs. Mercs. Marauders, the Mercs. The Mercs. Mercs was way more of a hassle for me. In fact, I I had a situation where I was playing um, Merc, Riot Guard, and Shuri. Like uh, I was cleaning up my mess and I couldn't kill those two. And then I took in. Like a a rather large team defender team and it timed out. Like it, it just like it was a mess. Uh, so anyways, Shuri is good here. She's good in you know because this this team right here can technically beat as Guardians and Red Skull. It's 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 tricky, but it uh, it can right. It can. And what is what is your punch up? They're at almost four hundred. Right the risk now. is like, not the punch up. At? It's timing out. Okay. It, it. So it's it it depends on it depends on the Hella uh, in 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 as Guardians and how quickly I can play, and then it also just depends on uh, the Red Skull match is just like you just have to play as fast as possible. It's a nuanced match because uh, you have to control Red Skull, and uh, when you're playing against Red Skull matches, uh, the idea is to ability block Red Skull with Venom. Then it's then eventually at some point stun Red Skull with Symbiote Spider Man and then extend the stun with his middle ability and then almost mm. always uh, whenever you you're going after Hydra Scientist focus only on Hydra Scientist and then you use the basic attack on Venom to flip the 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 death proofs, death proofs down into bleeds mm. and then the thing about Carnage is whenever you're using the basic attack. His basic will only chain if the primary target has a negative effect. So you have to be targeting targets that have negative effects with the basic attack yeah. for it to chain. And I wasn't doing that. And that and then it's a similar strategy uh, with Asgardians, uh, you know, where you're focusing on the Gregs constantly to get the extra turn meter from Carnage passive. It requires Carnage passive. And so they're, it's, 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 they're yeah. nuanced. I don't recommend doing them because they time out and you have to play really quickly. You have to be very deliberate. But it does work. 
and 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 you, you got him for Dark Dimension Three as well. If if you're around there, so well, not, yeah. not the worst team, to, not the worst team to build well, for war because you got a double use for that team. But in frankly, Drax. Sometimes I put Green Goblin here. Sometimes I put Miles. Drax is flex. Sometimes I put Drax on Fantastic Four in place of Thing when I'm going up against Asgardians to, to prevent the Loki Hella combo from going off. So there's just some flex. Um, all right, so this right here. Inhumans, X-Men. All right. Oh, we got the same as the Avengers team. <laughs> no, yeah, but let's talk about X-Force. Uh, only reason Wolverine is here right now is because I'm using Storm in place of X-23. But I absolutely 1,000% believe Storm should be here instead of Wolverine. Uh, You're talking just just for Asgardians because last last month you liked it just for countering Asgardians. You like this normal team for every other matchup. Are you? I, I I'm pretty much thoughts? only using this team for Asgardians. Always. Okay. Yeah, I mean okay. it, it 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 walks over Coulson. It walks over who else? Who else am I worried about? Is the question. And and the other thing too is if I come up against a Black Order, I will uh, run this team here without. Wolverine and I'll run Ultron. So you and you mm. definitely do not want Storm against uh, Black Order because uh, Storm is a hero controller and that just is extra fuel for Ebony Maw. Yeah. So it's it, this team will work against Black Order. It'll punch across against Black Order with moving X uh, Wolverine and putting in Ultron. It's 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 fun. So this team is a little bit of a flex too. But basically, uh, I'm not a fan of Wolverine in in. Black Order matchups or as Guardian matchups. Other matchups, it's fine. Um, okay. This is a defensive generic team. Um, I don't particularly care for this team, but th it's all about Captain Marvel. Captain Marvel just gets wins, and this team just yeah, kind of helps her get wins. You're protecting Hulk. Mm -hmm. You got him sandwiched between Hulk and uh, Captain America, so I'd, I'd run that exact same setup. Yeah. Black Order, is that a defense or offense team for you? I, right I now? run on, on defense, war. but boy, you can decide whatever you want to do. Whatever you want yeah. to do on this. But awesome either way. Awesome either way. What, what I'm finding is I have enough offensive teams right now to do what I need to do. And mm -hmm. and and I don't need another offensive team, especially with X-Force. Uh, X-Force is another offensive team. So I what am I going to do? Like, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to put a bad team on defense. This is just a better team mm -hmm. on defense yeah. than what else I would replace. It comes down to Makes the number sense. of teams I have. Ah, uh, this is fine. I really Chip don't like Nerva. this team. I don't like this team. I just, it's good. They were it's, good. It's just, there's, there's so many, there's, power creep has gotten that team. There's, there's so many metas that they can't counter nowadays that they used to beat everybody. Um, I actually will use this against mercenaries, uh, uh, punch down as long as there's no, down, no defense yeah. down. Uh, it actually can work. Um, I use this against about almost everything, but if it's as guardians, I'll take out thing and I'll put in Drax. <laughs> Is that is that because he only has those three red stars, or just that's the the character that I, you I don't want? I, do, I just don't want um, I don't want Johnny, Johnny being deleted turn yeah. one. I don't okay. want defense down everywhere. I I mean, if I can't, you know, if 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 what if they kill Hella first? You know what I mean? It's just like uh, I'd rather have them just beat up on Drax, have her clear the the defense down and whatever heal block real okay. early. It's just it's a uh, it's just a uh, that that's fine, but most of the time I just I don't do that. That's very rare. Um, okay. Defense, 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 offense, offense. How are you liking her? Um, mixed. I mean, we, we talked about this with minds. You like your vision, or you like your her better? Well, there, I mean, we talked about it. This is this. I, I definitely use this against Red Skull. Uh, punch across with Red Skull. And what were what were you doing with Vision? Just any random team. Yeah, it was it was mostly Marauders, a lot of Marauder teams I was using with okay. it. I still will. I'll punch up with Marauders on this. Like, uh, actually, uh, the Marauders with Ultron is not. This team actually takes care of that like no problem. You've seen. I the, remember the Vision. The Vision one was very good against Ultron. I haven't tried a oh, the this Ironheart is, this, version against an Ultron team. This is fine against. I had no problems with against okay. uh, Ultron. Uh, Ultron Marauders. Um, it seems like a waste of a team, by the way. I, I just don't like it that much. Um, on defense, it's like easily countered by this. Um, boy, this this team right here sometimes works against uh, uh, Mercs. Punch down, Ooh. but it's it's a mess. This is a mess. I'm always I'm winning, but I'm always coming from behind. I'm like, oh, oh. man, I'm almost dead, and they're oh, like, oh, am I God. gonna win? I'm like, every every win against Mercs have been like. 
a come from behind win. <laughs> like, so that being said, this is why I'm really hyped about X23. If, if I can, that's the only matchup that I I want to punch the wall. Right, is against Mercs, <laughs> and 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 so I I just need a better team. And technically, if I if I was being you know if I if I continue having problem with Mercs, eventually I'll just use Black Order because Black Order works well against Mercs, but not many other teams everybody. do. Right, so it's like if I can find alternate teams and leave this on defense, you know, you know, then I can yeah. get. I mean, this this team will get wins, and you know, and you know, it, it's working for me. Um, this is Intron against, defenders. Yeah, this is against um, this is against as guardians. Actually, this team can go up against a lot of teams, uh, but that's the team that I prefer to go up against. You is, ever tried that team against uh, Mercs? No. Yes, and it didn't go well. It did not go okay. well. Um, yeah, it didn't. It didn't go well. So all the meta except for the Mercs, then. So yeah, Shields. I think they could beat Shield, and we know we could. They could beat as Guardians. Yeah. Who am I forgetting? Marauders. They could beat Marauders. Could and beat a lot of teams, but Mercs. The only yeah. two teams that I'm using against Mercs currently, or that I would suggest, is select Brotherhood 2.0 matches. Select. Uh, supernatural matches like punching down, being careful, no, noticing the room bonuses, and then Black Order. Mercs don't have mm. a lot of counters. That's why I'm really hopeful that X Force is another tool uh, for me to use. That um, this is trash. This is kind of <laughs> trash. Was, that's trash. Yeah, this is this Wordy. is defense, and I'm happy with this on defense because um, I just didn't have to. I already had these guys already much. Um, Upgraded, so I didn't have to work that much on this team. It's such a lazy team. That's good. That's, um, good. That's good. So obviously, Storm's going to go back. Fun. Go back to X Men eventually. And where's Wolverine going to go? Is he going to be homeless, or is he going to find uh, a spot I'll, for him I'll somewhere? I'll put him. I'll probably put him back into here, and I'll take Gamora out. I, I Gamora is kind of weak. Uh, poor Gamora. Yeah, I'd rather have Gamora. I'd rather have uh, Wolverine here instead of Gamora, just based on my power levels. Everybody's different, but you know, mm -hmm. the Squirrels girls coming then. Who knows what this team is going to look like, right? We'll see. Mm. Um, then this is just on defense. This is just like cleanup. And then these are literally the this teams that I'm... These are the teams, teams, yeah, solely for the Unity event. These were like drop-down no. teams or okay. uh, Tier 1 teams. I mean, there was no thought put into these. Don't look at these bottom teams, Valley. Don't look at them. Quit looking at them. Oh, I got trash teams, too. You, you, you've seen. Yeah, but this is just I, without I, a convenience. I noticed you... So your ultimate seven teams, you don't have any of them saved. You you build them every single day from scratch. Yeah. Well, I mean, I, I don't find that scrolling down is that helpful. I mean, if they're at the very top, I suppose, but I just I mean, build them scroll in. down once to pick a team instead of scrolling all the way up and down to pick your guys and I put them guess. in the right placement I, and stuff. I mean, I'm right? only running uh. two teams and there's so much overlap and I change my mind all the time. But like if I go in right here, you know, like right now, you'll see that I've pretty much have my team ready to go and the way how i run this node is a little differently than other nodes because i know like this is the team like i i there, there's there's always this risk that dr strange is going to flip the whole team buff so you have to be careful like this because this node it's just i know what's in this node there's dr okay. strange and there's some stuff i've got to be careful in in this node and if i don't have a way of reversing dr strange flipping the buffs or killing him quickly then the match goes sideways so um I'm I'm kind of picking each node hand anyways, like based on mm. what I'm doing. So um, when you play the same the same uh, lane over time, you get you get you get used to it. Yeah, I get some bad RNG, but yeah, it should be getting better. Not like me. <laughs> I don't know. But, uh, All, right. All right. Well, head over to nice. Belly Fine's channel, and we he did a roster review on his channel. And if you're more into blitzing than war, I think you'll like that video. Uh, as much or more than this one because uh, it's more. You have more of a focus on blitzing, and I have more of a focus on war. So, yeah. um, anything you want to say before we go? Nah, nice. I like what you're doing with your roster, and uh, hopefully, you get those mini uniques because Symbiote Spider Man needs. Them, I brother. tried. I opened 348 milestone <laughs> orbs to get those pieces for Symbiote Spider Man, and it did not get it. I mean, it was one in 2,500 chance. But I still oh, didn't, you know, but I, 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 and everybody, thank you everybody for sending me your screenshots of the pieces that I didn't get. Thank you so much. I really appreciate you. You, I'm glad that somebody got them, but man, I wish it was me. <laughs> All right, guys. Thanks for watching and keep on gaming. Bye.